here to tell you about how to dress a naked distaff. The distaff I have in my hands is a cage distaff. It's one of the types that can be used as a waist distaff. The other type is a flat distaff. If we were going to look at them anatomically, we would say that it's pretty much the upper third where the fiber goes. And in each case, they have a place at the top to tie a ribbon or a cord. On a flat distaff, you'll see some indentations. On the cage distaff, you'll see it broaden out and then narrow in. Both of these uh, designs make it difficult for the fiber to simply slide down as you're pulling down on it. If I want to dress my naked distaff, I'm going to look for wool bats. This one is Romney fleece. It would be nice if the length of the fiber was longer rather than shorter. Longer is better on the distaff. And I'm going to lay a bat flat. That means that when I put the fiber on the distaff, the fiber is going to go along the long ways of the bat and wrap sideways along the distaff. I'm going to take the feathered end, I have my hand holding onto this, and turn it a little so that it's caught as fully. But now you need a little tension and you're pulling and rolling. You might actually tip up and tip down, tip up, tip down, and feather the end, and that is roll number one. It's true that you can get several of these bats on the distaff because a distaff can hold pretty much a whole day's spinning. It might be a whole project spinning and you do exactly the same thing on the second one. Put tension on the bat that I haven't rolled on yet. Pull a little bit on this side as you're rolling it on. So now it has to be fixed to the shaft with a ribbon. I like to start at the top with either a half hitch or a lark's head. This is the lark's head. And the ribbon is going to hold on to the fiber and keep it from slipping down on the distaff. And then you spiral by turning at an angle. Until you get here, you must leave some fiber to pull down, and you're going to spin all the way around that bottom section. So you're going to spiral back up. This you're pulling fairly tightly. And then half hitch. And the last thing to do is just tuck it into your belt, rest it on your forearm, and start to spin. The flat distaff is dressed almost the same way as the cage distaff. What in fact happens is that the rolls are going to be left in roll format. You can stack them if you'd like. You're going to roll them up softly. I'm going to dress it on the distaff by simply putting it on the flat part. And the spiraling is simply going to go over the roll. Yeah, make sure you're getting in some of the notches on your way down and same thing go back up in a spiral half hitch into some of the grooves up here that's it now you're portable and you can spin in many different places at the bus stop on the couch in the office on your break of course in the bathroom, on a moped, road trips, walking the dog. <laughs>